Hi, I'm Christopher James. We're here at my home in Avon by the Sea, New Jersey. Uh, that's at the Jersey Shore. So tonight the two bars I work at have a, uh, a lot of volume. So I've invited you here. Um, I'd like to create a cocktail for you. It's my cocktail version of Cherry Jubilee, uh, which was a dessert that was made in Old England for the Queen. Uh, my cocktail will consist of an uh, ounce and a half of Kettle One Vodka, uh, also an ounce of uh, cherry puree, fresh lime juice, and simple syrup. Uh, cherry Jubilee usually comes over ice cream. Uh, we're not really going to do ice cream here. What I've created is a coconut sweet ginger foam, uh, which will lay on top of the cocktail. Another essential component of Cherry Jubilee is flambéed, uh, flambéed orange. Um, here I'll flame an orange peel to emblazon the Diageo logo on the top of the egg foam. So why don't we start uh, adding the ingredients. Okay, we'll start with our least ingredient first, which would be our lime juice. Okay, so there I go. Juice of half a lime is roughly one ounce. Juice of one lime, rather. Nothing beats fresh juice. Alright. And now for the fun stuff. Simple syrup. About one ounce. Cherry puree. Now with fresh juices and purees, you always want to give them a stir. You always want to start with the least expensive ingredient first, so in case you mess up, you don't waste that much liquor. Now the good stuff. We're going to add an ounce and a half of Kettle One 80 proof vodka. cube ice. To make this cocktail extra cold, what I'm going to do is crack the ice cubes by hand so when I shake it, it'll get a little more integrated and a little more water will get in there, hence a colder drink. So, this is an old school method. Take your bar spoon and crack the ice. flavors in this cocktail will play very nice together. The coconut and the ginger, the lime and the cherry, the burnt flavor of orange. I can't wait till it's done. One more. One more. After that. And now the shape. You always want to give it a really good shake to really, really integrate those ingredients. Mmm, delicious. But before we pour our cocktail, we're going to have to do the foam. Excuse me one second while I get a chilled martini glass. So we're going to squirt a little bit of foam first to make sure it works and it's not going to go all over the place. Yep, works to me. Now in the glass you're going to want to put about, let's say a golf ball size portion of this foam. This foam being a coconut ginger sweet foam. Very tasty. Once this integrates into the cocktail it's going to fall right in and mesh together and make something really, really delicious. As you can see, a portion of golf ball size of foam. Now what you want to do 
to slowly strain the cocktail around the circumference of the foam to lift it up and have it spread out over the surface of the cocktail. You're going to need it to do so for the garnish. As you can see, the foam is rising over the top. It's a lovely red cocktail. And now for the favorite part. We have our mister filled with orange bitters, pecho bitters, and angostura for a little color. I'm going to pump some air into here. And gently spritz. Diageo D into the top of the cocktail. And to make sure that this is fully integrated, and again, one of the essential components of a Cherry Jubilee is flambe. Um, another essential component is orange zest, so I've decided to combine the two. Flamed orange zest garnish. Really getting that D in there. So here you have my cocktail version of Cherry Jubilee, which is Kettle One Vodka, Simple Syrup, Fresh Lime Juice, and Cherry Puree, topped off with a sweet coconut ginger foam, Angostura orange bitters, and Pecho bitters atomized into a D-shaped stencil to represent Diageo, and then further emblazoned with a flamed orange peel. My name is Christopher James and we're at my home bar here in Avon, New Jersey. I'm reminding you to always drink responsibly. Cheers.